Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the All For People's Brunello Cuccinelli Capanelle Sunglasses. But first off, in today's video sponsor, our own website, ShadeReviewStore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is ShadeReviewStore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. Now these frames unfortunately only come in one size, which has 48 millimeter lenses in a 20 millimeter brim. And as you can see, they are quite small on the face. And unfortunately, these are not made in a larger lens size, even though a lot of people would definitely benefit from getting these in a larger lens size. 48 millimeters is smaller than the smallest Ray-Ban Clubmaster. So I actually have a, a 49 millimeter small Ray-Ban Clubmaster here for comparison. And here we can see the look of the 49 millimeter Clubmaster. Still looks really good on the face, but it is just a little bit more big uh, than these uh, from Bernello Cuccinelli and Oliver Peoples. So definitely keep in mind that these are definitely a very small pair of sunglasses and they're definitely not going to fit you if you have a large face. Uh, now these frames do have acetate uh, temples. So you can actually heat these up and give them a custom fit to the face, which is going to kind of help make them fit uh, more people's faces. But these again, still are definitely a small size. And as you can see, uh, my nose kind of barely fits here. It actually kind of almost rubs up against the rim of the uh, lower part of the brow line design here. And for me, I can just barely get away with wearing these frames. And I still think they look really good on the face, but I think for the vast majority people, uh, these frames definitely may not fit you because it might be just be a little bit too small. So definitely keep that in mind when buying a pair of these frames. You might want to try one on first or at least try on the small size of the Clipmasters if you have one of those available to try on easily before buying a pair of these frames for yourself. Now these frames are produced in a ton of absolutely beautiful and stunning colorways. The exact colorway that I'm wearing in today's video have our people's dark amber smoke uh, acetate uh, fronts here and then the lower part of the brow line design is a silver which looks absolutely beautiful as well and there's some beautiful beautiful etching on the bottom rim of that uh, metal which looks really really nice and classy as well and if we look through the clear acetate we can see some beautiful beautiful etching here as well which looks really really nice and classy now if we take a look here at the top of the frames you can see there are any gaudy logos or anything like that whatsoever but we can see two little metal accents which are not just there for show sure. that is actually what connects the acetate uh, to the all metal hinges and we can see a little metal accent here in the outside temple here as well. Then we can see they have a very, very nice and premium uh, five barrel all metal hinge. And this hinge is just completely overbuilt and absolutely beautiful. Just looks really nice. A lot of uh, cool angles and intricacy there on that hinge. Now, as far as the lenses go, uh, these are all of people's uh, indigo photochromic lenses. So they're actually going to start at a category two lens and then darken to a category three lens when they're exposed to UV rays. And right now these are in their fully lightened state. These also have fully adjustable nose rests. You can actually uh, bend these nose rests out and give a custom fit to the face and it also allows you to wear them uh, lower or higher on the face depending on your personal preference to get that absolutely perfect look which is very important for a brow line design pair of frames to get that uh, perfect fit. Now I actually haven't adjusted these frames at all uh, for this video just to just the way that they came uh, from the factory here. Now as far as build quality goes these are built absolutely incredible. The acetate is really really nice. The all glass photochromic lenses are very, very nice as well. And they are handmade in Italy. And they say that here in the inner right uh, ear rest of the frames, they say handcrafted in Italy. Then the inner right temple, they say Brunello Cuccinelli, Oliver Peoples, photochromic glass. Now, if we take a look at the inner right temple of the frames, we can see all the exotic information. We can see that beautiful hinge there as well. And then the outside left temple of the frames, we can see a little embedded Oliver Peoples logo there, which is there for authentication purposes. And then in the outside right ear rest, we can see the little Brunello Cuccinelli shield logo there as well, which is absolutely beautiful and just a really, really nice touch to these frames. Now, as far as weight goes, these frames come in at 42 grams, which is actually very, very heavy for a pair of sunglasses like these. And that's because they have all glass lenses and these very thick uh, acetate frames and big metal hinges. So if you wear these frames for a long period of time, you're definitely gonna feel a lot of discomfort here around the nose rest, even though they are fully adjustable, you're still gonna feel some of the discomfort because the lenses are so heavy. And because of that, I feel myself want to take these frames off at least once an hour. They're just not very, very comfortable. And all of people's 
Nose also does kind of undersize their nose rest as well for aesthetic purposes. But unfortunately, with heavy pair of frames, that definitely means that there's less of a surface area to kind of distribute the weight on. So definitely not a very comfortable pair of frames uh, for me in particular. So again, these are 42 grams. And for example, uh, the smallest size of the Ray-Ban Clubmasters uh, with 49 millimeter lenses only come in at 36 grams. The gram difference between the two, which is actually a pretty big difference uh, considering the percentage of the overall total weight that eight grams would be. And because of that, again, these frames are just not really that practical. And I definitely don't see myself uh, picking these up all the time and wearing them just because of that aspect. These frames, because they have that brow line design, are not going to offer the best coverage from sun. So here up top, we can see there's a massive gap that lets sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the side, again, there's a massive gap that does let sunlight in unprotected. So overall, not very practical at all as far as that goes. But they do have a very nice and reflective material here on the back side of the lens. And a block sunlight coming in, bouncing off the lens at an angle and then going in your eye directly, which is very important when you have a pair of frames that doesn't have good coverage from sun like these. Now, as far as styling goes, I really, really do love these. These are just a very, very elegant and classy a pair of frames. Absolutely beautiful, just really, really nice, but definitely they're designed for somebody with even a little bit of a smaller a face than me. As you can see here, my ears are kind of maxing out here on the ear rest as well. If I push the frames down a little bit more, uh, they're gonna fit just a little better, but again, you can heat these up and then bend them at your own perfect curve but basically not a lot of room here to do much with. Um, so if you do have a bigger head than me, you're definitely not going to want to get this pair of frames. But yeah, just absolutely beautiful, really, really nice work. I don't know why they don't make these like in a 50 millimeter lens size or 51. I really, really do wish they did. Uh, again, personally, as far as the look goes on the face, I really do like uh, these 48 millimeter. I think they look really, really good and classy, but it's just a little bit too small for most people. I believe. So definitely keep that in mind when buying a pair of these frames. Now, of course, these frames do feature the All People's Breed logo. So if we breathe on the left lens, we can see the Bruno Cuccinelli cityscape. And then if we breathe on the uh, left lens, we can see the All People's logo and it says photochromic underneath that. And as far as the clarity goes on these all glass lenses, they are very, very clear. Everything looking through them is just very, very sharp and, and crisp. Just really, really great all glass crystal lenses. I really do like these a lot. And I also do love photochromic lenses as well because it kind of allows you to wear these frames indoors and outdoors. And the lenses adjust depending on how much UV exposure you have, uh, which is really, really nice as well. I do love the photochromic lenses here. I think it is a really, really nice option to have. Uh, now, as far as pricing goes, these frames are very expensive, coming in at $661. But we do have some of these available on our website for around 400 and something dollars. So definitely make sure to check these out on our website if you're interested in current pricing and availability. And just remember, these frames are very small. So if you have a medium to large face, these definitely are not going to fit you very well. Well, let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. Do you own a pair of these? Have you tried a pair of these on? What do you think about them? Definitely make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below and let us know. We'd be interested to hear what you have to say about that. And and we can start a conversation there. Well, overall, definitely a beautiful pair of frames uh, from our people with Bruno Cuccinelli, but definitely very disappointing that they are not produced in a larger lens size, uh, but it is what it is. But thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video, just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.